Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. We yeah, have Shadow of the Colossus. I'm finishing it here. Well, that's namely because I'm essentially forced to because YouTube changed the thing that uh, we won't be able to use annotations in the future. So since this series uses annotations for the navigation and stuff like that, yeah, I kind of had to get back to this after my laziness. So yeah, that was quite a curveball, and uh, while I was starting to work on that, I had another curveball. Uh, I caught a cold, and that kind of held me back because my voice and stuff like that for a while as well, so... Yeah! <laughs> so I'm on game two here, you know, after I collected all the fruit and beat all the second Colossus battles and stuff like that. I'm looking for a specific spot. Yeah. I think I've got that specific spot, so I'm gonna jump up there off of aggro and begin this climb here. And I'm gonna be doing the diagonal climb method here. See how I'm doing diagonal jumps? Left, right, left, right, up. You know, just, just like that the whole way up there. That's because it uses little to no stamina. It's kind of a bug in the game, but it's quite handy to do if you want to get through this super secret special thing without having to go through the game a whole load of times by collecting fruit, defeating the Colossus, etc, etc. So yeah, this is the method, the method that I've chosen to do this with. And there are um, rest spots along the way here that the game designers also did not intend. So, yeah, you could use those, but I'm actually not going to, because I kind of want to show you that it is possible to do this normally, well, as normally as using the diagonal jump glitch is, um, <laughs> without, you know, using the rest spots to show, oops, I made a mistake there, to show that, hey, yeah, you do have enough stamina at this point to pull this off. So, where the heck am I going up? on the Temple of Worship here. Well, you will find out in like maybe three more minutes because this this climb is very tedious and there's a it's, it's sort of like a maze in a way and see that little ledge off to the right there with that the diagonal slope there yeah that could be a potential rest spot as I've seen in other videos where you just run on that uh, and you'll, your stamina will recover but I'm skipping that and yeah, there's another one with a little bush on it, I believe, as well, but I, I forgot exactly where that one is, where you can use to recover your stamina. But as you can tell, uh, by the way that I'm going here, uh, you won't need it, so... <laughs> oh no, I made a mistake again. See those straight up jumps there? Uh, use a lot more stamina than the diagonal jumps do, even though the diagonal jumps take longer. No straight up! No straight up, PK Cam. <laughs> So here's the first transition point here, and now what's especially frustrating about doing this run to the super secret area is these ledges that are the transition points are glitchy. Like, look at me trying to get on this thing. I'm having difficulty, so expect to uh, fall to your death a bunch of times before you actually get a successful run on this because it's really annoying. There we go! <laughs> Now, I'm not going to be doing any sideways jumps or anything here, because you might jump off accidentally, and that uses more stamina, so I'm just going to scooch along here thusly, and once we get to another transition point, we're going to have to get off this wall. Now, I should say off this ledge. Now, sometimes you can just get off by pressing right, sometimes you got to hold down right. I don't get why down right works, but yep, sometimes it works doing that. And then when you get off to this side of the wall, drop off until you get to about here, and then scooch along this ledge right here. Yeah, there's another transition point, though this one's a lot easier to get onto. <laughs> and then this other transition point here also could potentially be finicky, so... Yeah! Might want to uh, try and fiddle with the controls here a little bit, up, down, left, right, which, whichever way serves you best. Now jump diagonally up right until you get to the nearest ledge over to the right side. You can, you can see it popping into view there, over there, it's not too far off, yeah, just... Then you gotta scooch on over to the side. Now this one's even glitchier to get onto than the other ones. So, you, I really wish you the best of luck here. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, not quite. No, nope, don't have it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so basically, your success in getting here this early in the game pretty much all depends on whether or not the glitchy ledges actually work out for you. I know that sucks, but it's definitely faster doing it this way than going through the game multiple times. <laughs> So, yeah, it just, just seems like a better idea to show you the semi-glitch method here. Don't be scared of your stamina, you just gotta keep going no matter what, because, well, you fall off at any time, you're gonna fall and die. So, <laughs> I did a couple vertical jumps that I probably shouldn't have done there, but I think it's still going to work off, because there's the ending point right there. Oh, you can do it, PK Gam, just tying the little jump! To the finish line! <laughs> By the finish line, I mean it's the ledge! Go, baby, go! Yeah! And we're safe! So, over here, this is the bridge that you've seen in the opening cutscene. It's long. It's very long. So what's over at the end of it? Well, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna multiply this video footage by 10 because look how slow this is. Just look how slow, yeah, just just please get it over with, thank you. <laughs> it takes a good eight or nine minutes to actually reach the end of this and get back. So uh, to show this, you really, really better have something to do on the side. Like maybe, maybe you're gonna wanna hold up and glance at the TV screen every so often while doing a crossword puzzle or something like that. Because <laughs> it takes forever. And it's a nice view and everything like that. And I don't know if it's faster doing these rolls or if it is just running, but I'm, I'm just kind of transitioning between the two because out of sheer boredom as I get into this, but yeah, look at look what's coming into view here, yeah, it's the entrance to the entire world, look at that! And then I stopped the, the uh, speed up here, just so that you can get a better view of it, because <laughs> it was just jittering all over the place as I was going at top speed across there, so I thought it was a good idea to just slow it back down to regular speed. Now, it may look like you can go through there, but there's this mysterious wind just like at the very end of the game that will not let you go through there whatsoever. So try as you might, you ain't going through there. But as long as you're here, you might as well take a look, see around and see where the poop you are. Yeah, you're on the desert side of this and you see they put little details and stuff there. But well, unfortunately, we've got to go back. <laughs> and yeah, uh, that I cut actually like between, I mean, I had two different recordings here because I didn't want to lose something by running out of time on the SD card or anything like that. So if you notice the little jump cut in there, um, that, that's the reason why. But yeah, it's, it's no big deal or anything like that there. I just jump cut it where I stood in place and just kind of cut in the middle of myself at the end of running and the beginning of running again. So it looked as fluent as I could make it. <laughs> But I thought I would show you the view there and the view back, basically. That's why I uh, decided not to cut out this whole trans... I just Not transition, this whole uh, traversing of the ultra-long bridge so that you could see things as it goes in and out of view and stuff like that. And look at that, we made it back! <laughs> so this door, um, it closes permanently. This is the door that leads to that, um, I guess you could say spiral staircase type thing, spiral pathway type thing around there. And yeah, you can't go through there whatsoever, even if you climb up the stairs from the inside, so that is out, and I'm just giving a little tour of the bush as well as the architecture here. I'm by I'm, I'm just moving the camera around and whatnot. Don't worry, even though you see a ledge there, there's there's no more necessary climbing, so don't worry, we're we're safe here now. Just as long as you don't fall off somewhere. Please for the love of Arceus, do not fall off. So, this is where I actually came up here to show you mainly. This has been dubbed by the fans as the Secret Garden. Sorry about that little cut there, I had to redo this spot because I miscounted. 
so this is where the end cutscene of the game takes place. And, uh, it's got fruits. But this isn't any sort of ordinary fruit, as you'll see soon enough here. Uh, see, there's six of them in this tree right here. And Did you see your gauge there? Watch the gauge. Watch, yeah, yeah, it's shrinking. Yeah, see, uh... The fruit out in the lands is like the fruit of life, and the fruit up in the secret garden is like the fruit of death. <laughs> I think it's officially called the forbidden fruit, but yeah. <laughs> so, you really shouldn't be eating this, but in the remake, you know, with the whole fruit trophy thing there, you're actually going to have to eat all the fruits in the garden and there's 48 of them pretty dang annoying to find them <laughs> there's seven in this tree by the way um but yeah the thing about this fruit is that it's it's you know it's very hard to see them up in the treetops so you can often be wandering around for quite a bit looking for all these suckers, and, uh, well, that's what basically happened to me, so I'll end up doing a bunch of cuts and whatnot. So, uh, also, a thing that you probably noticed coming here to the Secret Garden is that this place is sorta kinda glitchy in its own way, like graphically and stuff like that, so... Uh, I, I really think that the whole Secret Garden type place just was pretty much unfinished, <laughs> you know, between the whole traversing issues that you have coming here and whatnot because of the glitchy ledges and stuff like that. Uh, there's four fruit in this tree now, by the way, and then there's 31 in the middle section. I, I, I didn't really keep track of which are in which trees because it's just a big lump of fluffy trees and it's just hard to tell what the poop is where, so... Yeah, I'm just saying 31, I'm going to be dividing it up in uh, five fruit segments, <laughs> basically, just to, just to try and make it easier on myself. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, this place is... it's beautiful! It's fun to explore and stuff like that, but, as I said, it's kind of on the glitchy side, but it's accessible. You can get here, you can explore it, as, as you see right here. That's what I'm doing right now, and I'm getting another set of five fruits here. It's, it's kind of hard to see the fruit sometimes because of the darkness, so uh, make sure your TV it has good contrast things set up going on there, so trying to make your stuff a little bit easier than it might otherwise be. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, and whenever I do those like little pauses, you know, where I stand in place, that's basically me making tally marks, <laughs> you know, just to, just to make sure that I've got everything. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't take me too long to do the tally marks and whatnot, so... Yeah, I, did, I decided not to really cut it out unless it, you know, it, it was like a part of some other segment of me just running around doing nothing, basically. So, okay, I jumped down into the little water channel there, because one piece of fruit plops down over there. There's another one that I shot down, which plopped down, and now it's, it's, it's kind of hard to see. So hard to see. Oh, I found one! <laughs> That's another thing about doing five at a time, because then you'll know exactly how many are on the ground that you're looking for each time. So it makes it a little bit easier to keep track of where the poop you are, in the whole fruit collecting fiasco that's up here. So yeah. <laughs> so just basically develop your own sort of system and see like the best way that you can make sure that you do not forget a single piece of fruit. Although I guess it would be impossible to forget it if you're playing on like the PlayStation 3 version or something for the trophy because of the the whole thing of that you won't see the trophy, the cornucopia trophy, unless you actually get all the fruit. So I guess you'll know when you're done, when you're done. But there's still, you know, a, a rather... You, you can make yourself a method to make it easier to keep track of where you are in regards to that. Because maybe you're going to forget one that's on the ground, you're just going to be thinking that it's somewhere in the treetops, and you're shooting stuff in the treetops that look like fruit, 
and you're just completely missing the fruit whatsoever, maybe? <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a good reason why you should have a system. And there's, a, there's another one of those little glitchy ground detection type thing of jiggers there. Again, it's a secret garden here. It, it doesn't really feel like a finished area or anything like that. There's number three of the droppages, number four. Um, now, around this particular area, I'm kind of like wandering around, just like looking around, like where the poop is this other piece of fruit. I thought I seen it drop up on top here somewhere on one of these ledges. I'm just, I just have no idea where the poop it is. Did you see it? I seen it. Well, just watch this, watch this. I'm going to do a little cut here. Ah, uh, well, yeah, there it is. Okay, wait, wait for it, wait for it. I spotted it, I spotted it. Collision detection. Yep, it's embedded in the ground. <laughs> now, I know that happened down over in the regular field as well, so it's not like something exclusive to the secret garden, but it happens quite a bit around in here, so again, it's really making me feel like it's a lot more unfinished than, uh, uh, the, the rest of the game's exploration aspects, so yeah. But as I said, you can you can get up here, it's possible to do it, so give it a shot. <laughs> uh, they did fix some of this stuff, like the... Oh, there's two overlapping fruit right on top of each other right there, believe it or not. Then back down at the base there, there's, I got the other one there. But yeah, um... It's, it's very, very weird that, uh how things actually end up in the secret garden when you shoot them down sometimes, but it doesn't seem to be as much of a factor on the PlayStation 3 version from what I've seen, so yeah. And that one was really hard to see, but i seen it, so I grabbed <laughs> And here's the two that are overlapping, like literally they are overlapping. <laughs> it's, it's so silly though, but yeah, there's literally two fruit hanging in the tree, that overlap and then they, they they overlap on the ground as well because they both land and then they'll end up on the same spot. <clears throat> also, as you can tell, uh, the reason why I'm not really cutting out too much of this stuff that's going on over here is namely because I'd like to show you like stuff around the area, you know, just to explore around the place and whatnot, just to show you what's up, Doc. <laughs> you know, because once you get up here, you really don't want to come back up here again because of those glitchy ledges and stuff like that, if you know what I mean. Although I had to come up here again because I miscounted and ah, I'm still slapping myself because of that, but well, I got up here again and here, here I am shooting the fruit again. And it was only by like, like one or so, so it, it was especially frustrating because of that. And because of that as well, I, I wouldn't have known which which fruit I missed because uh, it's basically impossible to get down from the secret garden without dying. I mean, it, it is technically possible, you know, to have that fruit saved and whatnot just by getting down and and saving your game. But the thing about it is that the only real way of doing it is to call aggro to a spot and then hopefully jump down onto aggro from wherever you're jumping down from. The chances of you doing that is incredibly slim, <laughs> but it is actually possible. But since I, I wasn't really able to do that, you know, uh, the fruit ended up getting reset anyway and thus I wouldn't have known which fruit I already got and which one was left over. So it's not like I could have just climbed up here and just grabbed that one leftover fruit. Oh, no, 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 I had to do it all over from the beginning and it took me about 25 minutes. So I really hope you appreciate my, my fruit excursion going on here. <laughs> oh, and uh, you can also climb up those blocks over um, up... You know where that ramp was that led to that upper upper area that I, you can also shoot fruit up from and, and whatnot? Yeah, there's a couple of blocks over there with a... There's some waterfalls you can climb up as well. It's not really all that important or anything like that. It's right near this area right here that I just grabbed this last piece of fruit out of the next five. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> it's... 
It's just a thing of that, yeah, you can do it if you'd like to. I'm not climbing up every single little thing that you can climb up around here. In fact, there's... You, you can't really climb up everything around here anyway. Um, there was some, like, beta stuff that people found that showed that you apparently could climb up here, but in the finished version, apparently there's no textures and stuff like that up above the top of the Temple of Worship, so you can't do it in this particular version. Um, there, there's also some, uh, like, le Colossus, or Colossi, whatever you want to call it, that uh, m didn't quite make it in the final game. I don't know if it had to do with time restrictions or something like that, but there, there could have been more Colossus in the game, but, well, there wasn't. <laughs> But people uh, showed some stuff as well. I'll have, uh, I hope I remember this, I'll have links to all this stuff in the video description if you'd like to check all this stuff out. So yeah, I, I think you'll find that stuff pretty interesting to explore uh, if you were to check that out. So yeah, and I'm getting down to the nitty gritty of the fruits here. And I'm, I'm just basically shooting them down and grabbing them as I go now because, I, because I'm on the nitty gritty. So I'm not doing it five at a time anymore because I know how many I have left exactly. And now I'm just kind of just kind of peeking around here, just taking a look, see here. Like maybe maybe there's something in this corner because there's another fruit that I missed at that corner and that I just decided to take a look, see. Oh, look at that! Look at that! There it is, the final piece of fruit. Yeah. Achievement get well trophy get you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and now uh, before I resume my other um, section of commentary that I've already commentated because I had to redo this part, I'm gonna do a little exploration of this section over here because there wasn't any fruit or anything over here, so I was just mainly focused on the fruit when I came back up here, and then I thought, eh, I'll just go and take a look-see around then afterwards just to give you the remaining rundown of what this place looks like and whatnot. And you also probably notice that there is a big hole over around this area that I'm going around here. That leads to that water basin that you got sucked in at the end of the game. Yeah, so it, it, it's not like you can jump down there and survive it though. Oh no, 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 when you land in the water you'll instantly die. So <laughs> There's just no way to jump down from the secret garden unless you jump down on top of aggro and get really, really lucky. <laughs> See, this is the hole that I was talking about here, and uh, and when I resume the footage, you're going to see me jump down the hole, which will be good times. <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> and there's also a little bit more that I'm going to show you here. Uh, after I game over from falling down from up there just for the fun of it. <laughs> the first thing is grabbing onto the hawks that you see that follow on around aggro when you're jumping around there. Yeah, you can you can jump and grab onto those. And then there's also this pathway around Kuro Mori's area. Remember that I, I was wondering how aggro got there? That's how she got there. <laughs> and there's, and the, But the main thing that I was uh, going around to here is I wanted to grab onto a fish. Because you can actually grab onto the fins of the fish uh, by just releasing your swim button and then uh, re-grabbing re your swim button really quickly. And then you should be able to grab onto a fish if you get close enough to it. And uh, I just went over here because this is probably one of the best places to show it because they, they just yeah they, they swim around the decently large area. They don't you can't really do any like special speed run things with these things or anything like that. They are here just for the fun of it. And I'm gonna hold on to one of the critters until I run out of air. And then I'm gonna head on back over to the temple of worship. Agro's gonna do her weird things as she always does. And what I'd like to do here to show how to grab onto these doves is uh, jump on over to here, past these spots, because it doesn't startle them for some reason. And then you can just kind of jump and grab onto the doves uh, like so. And yeah, some of these fly higher than others, some other of them don't. I just got knocked off by great bashing into the pillar there, but that's okay. Um, another thing about these doves that hang around Mono here is that 
every time we beat a Colossus, one more dove appears. Now, obviously, you won't be able to see all 16, because the game doesn't really save after the 16th one, but here's all 15 of them right here, uh, of what it looks like and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for all that I wanted to show you in the game. So with that, I'm going to end off the walkthrough here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Oh, ah, uh, girl. You truly are the game's most, fa most faithful horse. You just pop in anytime, anywhere.